Right, so what, we, what we're doing is we're going to put a set of these bearings in between the spring and the mount cap um, just so that this can rotate freely and it just uh, improves on the steering feel. So to get these in here you just have to machine a little bit off the inside of the cap and then that will literally just slot over the cap and then the cap can go in like that. And uh, what my buddy Ed Cobb used to do was use an old yogurt pot over the top of that as like a dust cap. So you're gonna pack that full of grease and then he would have like a little, you know, like the bottom, the bottom of a yogurt pot. So I, I was thinking, oh, I'll just use these mixing cups, but they're not quite big enough. But if you've got the big, big yogurt pots, you can just trim the thing off of there, the bottom off it, put the yogurt pot on, and then your cap on top of that. And um, that works for protecting it. I'm just going to make a little cap out of steel because uh, that's just all I've got. So I've cut that out. It's 10 mil plate on the uh, plasma table. So then I'll machine that out and just make a little make a little dust cover that that can all sit inside. So uh, the grease stays in there. So that's the plan.
Alright, so this is my little like dust cap cover thing. Bearing just sits in there. I did initially want to make this so it overlapped that and sat over the top of the spring, but the spring's actually a little bit bigger. So this would have had to have uh, stepped out and then down. But as long as it's uh, as long as it has enough to hold the grease in there, that's good enough for me. So I've just made it so it's like basically flush. The bearing sort of flush with the bottom of that, and it's not. But there's clearance so it doesn't catch on the top bit of the spring. So now we need, just need to machine this little cap for the top. Now I'm just preloading the spring a little bit. Back 
about eight mil. Yeah, so that. Oh. <sighs>